down the road from where the train rolls through the Dallas County town of Ferdice. A house looks loved. Yeah, just had I got married, me and my wife and kids lived up the street up here, around the block from where it took place at. But locals like Mose Allen know it's horrific history. It, it shook the town, really. A judge ordered Tuesday one of the four people serving life in prison in connection to the 1988 rape, robbery, and murder of an elderly woman there be freed or face a new trial. I'm glad for him. He deserved to be out. The John wasn't the type of person to do nothing like that. I mean, we feel really, really, really good. John Brown's attorney with the Midwest Innocence Project says this is a big step for her client, who served 26 years in prison for a crime he maintains he never committed. I mean, we feel really, really, really good. We're really happy with this. Um, it's an important decision, and it's a, a strong statement about, you know, what the state, what a defendant's rights are, that evidence must be reliable. In a 26-page order, the federal judge calls the case fairly cut and dried, citing constitutional violations and new evidence, including a co-defendant's confession. Mr. Early has confessed to committing this crime alone. He has provided um, very detailed uh, facts about how he committed the crime. We understand. Like I said, I was around him that night up here. They had a party. Allen says he thinks Brown should get out. Now it's up to the state.